All right, Rude Geeks. Rude Geeks back again. Yeah, um, <laughs> black people doing fucked up shit. <laughs> um, Every day. That was of the week. Boy. Hey, Virginia mom started. charged with her son's murder after remains are found in her car. Ooh. What the hell? Um, this Virginia woman, uh, whose son's remains were found in her car more than 10 years after he was last seen alive. Ooh. Was charged with the murder of his, his death. Her name is Tanya Slayton of uh, Richmond. Was, in the, was indicted this month in the Hampton Circus Court on a charge of second degree murder. I'm blowing up that picture right now. She looks like she don't even give a fuck. And the death of her son, Quincy Jamar Davis. They alleged that she killed him between July 24, 2004 and July 24, 2005. So, 10 roughly, years? Roughly in that year. Yeah, he was in the, um, in the back. Quincy Damn. remains were found stuffed in the back of her Mustang during a June traffic stop. A trooper impounded the vehicle and noticed a black trash bag wrapped in duct tape in the trunk and the bag reeked. Did she, did she just forget about it? <laughs> what the? put clothes over it. Oh my god. She's been riding around. She mentally, man. She mentally. Riding around, you know, going to work. Oh man. Everything. Shit. <clears throat> she threw some clothes on top of it and said more garments were inside. Oh. The badly decomposed body was found inside. The teen was last seen alive in 2004 when he was a seventh grader at a middle school. Virginia Beach Middle School would be exact. Holy shit. He would have been 14 to 15 year, years old at that time. Oh, man. His cause of death is not determined yet. No, that And plus, of... Davis was never reported missing by his mom or anyone else in the family. Yeah, everyone just forgot about him and he just disappeared. Oh, we ain't seen him. We just thought he was doing good. Look, man. 14, 15 years old is the last time they saw him. Allow me to remind you people, crazy bitches, <laughs> craziness. It makes even it, it makes even more kind of disgusting though that no one else in the family even asked about this boy. Nobody. What the hell? She killed the rest of the family too. Ain't, Ten years. Ten years. Ain't nobody ever seen this boy. Ain't nobody say nothing. Ain't seen him since he was 14, 15 years old. You know, I can't really I can't really be that mad because there's a lot of families that are kind of separated. Mm -hmm. They don't ask no questions. They don't want to deal with you. They don't want to have nothing to do with you. She's probably so damn crazy. Nobody want to talk to her. You know, and that, you know, this is what happens when people, when things go unchecked. If y'all remember um, on the Facebook page, because I don't know if we did a, um, a video about it. But on the Facebook, on the Rugi's Facebook page, uh, I shared a story of a guy who didn't show up to work for over six years and was about to get an award for performance. Didn't show up to work for six goddamn years. Because he worked in an area that was easily left unchecked. And, then, and when they when they questioned the man, he couldn't answer nothing of what he did yesterday, last week, last month. He had no answer because he didn't do a damn thing. And he was collecting a check. This is the same scenario. This woman was left unchecked. Nobody looked on her. Nobody lived because they, they probably just didn't want to deal with her or whatever the hell it was. And this poor child suffered for it because... No one even knows when the hell he was killed. You went right ride around, living day to day, no problems. Mustang. She probably had another car. She probably just picked up the decomposed body, threw it in, in the trunk of the new vehicle, and kept on riding. <laughs> no, you just had the same car the whole time. Woo! Hey, man, that thing should have stank, boy. Yeah, she just. should have stank. Just driving around. You don't nobody question that phone when she parked in the parking lot. <laughs> hey, man, they don't, don't know where the funk's coming from. Man, it could be a dead rat. Yeah. <laughs> a dead raccoon. Somebody could <laughs> ran over something dead and it's on the tire. Mm, I had that experience. Mm -hmm. Just saying, just saying, can't can't Damn. fault the people. <clears throat> it's just it's on her. She, she killed her own son and rolled around with his remains in the car every Woo. day. Mm. Mm. That's how cold blooded she is. Didn't give a damn. Didn't mm. report him missing or nothing. Man. <laughs> So cops, hold the loved cops ones. are not going to look for somebody that hasn't been reported. Ain't been been reported. They just say, hey, the last time we seen him live was about 10 years ago. <laughs> mm. 
I'm trying to figure out why the school then and then didn't, 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 didn't say up, nothing. Didn't That's what I'm saying. Like flag. nobody. Like, okay. Kid he comes was here school, one day. Then next thing you know, he's not here. Seriously? Uh, but I guess what she just walked in and said, "Well, I pulled him out. I pulled him out of school. You ain't never gonna see him again." I guess as a parent, she has a right to yeah. say that. Yeah. I mean, I mean, there's just there's so many things that is not wrong. That it, it's a damn shame. <laughs> it's the way, it's the way it works, world works, man. It's That's just, the way it works. People mm. can get away for as long as they want to until they get caught up. She only got caught because of a routine traffic stop. And this also happens when you when you live in um in low income places too, because if uh, a lot of times when you live in little ritzy townhome places and and the white folks don't see your kid no more, <laughs> they gonna start asking questions. <laughs> Man, <laughs> Richmond, Virginia, she was just doing her thing, kept going on everyday life. Mm, mm, mm. See people, that's how people just get lost. You never know when it's your time. Ghost. <laughs> Yeah. This dude was literally turned into a ghost, clean off the map. Man. That was in a <laughs> trash bag. Shh. What a way to go. Woo. Oh, oh, by man. the hands of your old mom. Mm. Yeah, but hey. Hope they fry ass. <laughs> Sorry, Zach put that in there. <laughs> Buried underneath the jail. That's my opinion. Underneath the jail. This is why. I, you know, I'm not really for you you know, know, death penalty, but she really does deserve it. For me personally, this is why I am for the death penalty. Because sometimes I do not want her to sit in no jail cell and I'm paying tax dollars so that she can just sit there and she killed her kid and she's still living. No parent should outlive their child. I'm just saying. But on that note, <laughs> hey, share, like, and subscribe and of course comment down below <laughs> down below what are your thoughts on the story links are always in the description box so you can read it for yourself tell us what you think or link another story that you want whatever it is that's what the comment box is for get on down there and we'll see you pretty soon on the next video check it later so fight broke out and i mean a fight broke out people were being ass for blocks okay that's how 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 severe this erupted okay